The Comcast Center. Built in 2002 after the men's basketball team won the national championship, it houses 17,950 people per night during basketball games. But what happens during the offseason when thousands of fans aren't packing the arena to watch the Terps play? Associate want. Director of Facilities uh, Operations and Events and Comcast Facility Manager Brady Gowan has the answer. We do a couple different uh, graduations on campus. Um, and then the rest of the summer is filled with volleyball camp, men's basketball camp, and women's basketball camp. But with such a state-of-the-art facility, students wonder why the Comcast Center isn't welcoming Jay-Z or Britney Spears to town, while schools like George Mason and Penn State are common tour stops for high-profile artists. I don't think there are any concerts at Comcast, from what I know. I'm very surprised. I really expected there to be concerts held there. Well, I know people at Penn State, and they have concerts like in their giant halls, and I just don't understand why we can't. As it turns out, the Raptors that proudly hold the Terps championship banners and retired jerseys can't hold much else. The support beams um, in the roof can't support the sound, the speakers and the lights and everything that a concert brings in. Um, that was something that was value engineered out as a cost saving measure. But Gowan says it's not out of the question to renovate the beams in order to book popular acts and bring in extra revenue to the school. It's definitely a possibility and everybody's looking for new forms of revenue, if that would bring us in, you know, 10 concerts a year with an additional fifty to $100,000 each time, I mean, that's, that might be worth it. But with the university facing budget cuts and a recession, it may be a while before the Comcast Center can ever become a full-fledged concert arena. In College Park, I'm Elena Connolly for Journalism 361.